In this episode, we quietly slip into the home of a stranger. The painting we're going to talk about today is called Woman Reading a Letter. and It was created around 1663 by the Dutch painter Johannes Vermeer. The painting gives the impression of calm and serenity. A young woman stands in profile in the middle of the scene. She is the only character being depicted. In front of her is a cluttered table on which a box, papers and a pearl necklace rest. Behind her is a chair with a blue backrest and seat which suggests that she has just gotten up. The background is defined by a white wall with another chair on which a large map hangs. The young woman is wearing loose clothing, a beige skirt with a yellow tinge and a blue jacket with yellow ribbon bows on the front. She is firmly holding a letter in her hands. The garment worn by the woman was identified as a bedayak, a jacket usually worn for sleeping. This, along with the morning light and the necklace on the table, may indicate that the young woman had just woken up when the letter was delivered. Some observers have suggested that the woman was expecting, but this would be highly unusual for paintings of this period. More likely, the impression of a protruding belly is due to the particular garment the woman is wearing. The map is another element that has given rise to interpretations. It has been suggested that the husband of the young woman was an absent traveler. However, it should be noted that maps were a common decorative piece in middle-class Dutch homes at the time. Sometimes it is best not to go too far in the interpretation. The painting may seem trite, simply a woman reading a letter, but the absolute silence, the sense of stillness, gives it an almost sacred atmosphere. She is totally absorbed, as if absent from this place and this moment. The woman, unlike the objects of the scene, does not cast a shadow. It is not a question of laziness or a lack of ability by Vermeer, because we can see that he has mastered shading. There is something else. Vermeer may have wanted to give a timeless character to this figure, which has become almost mythical. The use of blue to represent this woman is perhaps not insignificant. It was the color usually used to show the Virgin Mary. As we have seen in previous episodes of Listen to a Painting about the Dutch Golden Age, interior depictions and settings of intimacy of this type were entirely fictional. They were not a faithful representation of interiors of the time. 
The male was particularly adept at compositions representing the mysteries of domestic life, often with dreamy young women carrying out everyday activities in slow gestures that take on a certain sacredness. The technique and composition of Vermeer's paintings are particularly impressive. He is close to Caravaggio in his play with light, which he perfects even more because Caravaggio usually represented a plain background, whereas Vermeer adds details that catch the light. The interplay of shadows of the card on the wall and the chair is masterful. The composition of the painting is quite geometric, with the setting of the room the almost conical figure of the woman. The empty area is important. It represents the silence in the scene. The observer's glance rests thanks to this part and also allows for the contemplation of the central piece, the woman and her letter. Let us finish with some biographical details about the artist. Johannes Vermeer was born in Delft in the year 1632. At the age of 21, he became a member of the Delft Painters Guild. In 1672, the French invasion of Holland triggered an economic crisis, and Vermeer's business went bankrupt. He died in 1675 at the age of 43, overwhelmed by debt and after fathering 15 children with his wife. Little is known about Vermeer, to whom only about 40 paintings are attributed. A popular painter in his time, Vermeer's work was rediscovered late in his life and now occupies a place of honor in the history of art. <laughs>